All right, really quickly, uh, if you guys are deciding to use Photoshop to color in your cartoons, here's a quick tutorial on how to get your ink into Photoshop to color. So you've finished your ink drawing, it's wonderful, it's great. You're going to go to Photoshop, you're going to go to import and import from device. If your scanner is plugged in, it should show up right there under devices and it will give you an overview scan. Okay, the overview will basically be anything that is on the uh, flatbed of the scanner. Once that's finished, what you're going to do is select the area that you want to save. So in this instance, it's my inked owl. It will adjust the size accordingly. Once that happens, make sure that you pick either black and white or text as your, uh, your color. Okay, uh, text is better for this scenario. However, keep in mind that text will kind of combine some very thin lines into one thick line, so you might lose some detail. But black and white works just as well. Make sure your DPI is high. Do not scan anything under three or 400 in my recommendation. I would recommend scanning higher than four. Choose where you want to save it, okay? Choose a TIFF, which is the file type. Okay, here I'm saving it in the file associated with this course, okay? Uh, and make sure, like I said, make sure your DPI is high, make sure it's either black and white or um, grayscale, um, and uh, make sure you're not under 400 DPI. Once you've figured out where you're going to save it, etc., etc., you're going to click scan, and the scanner will then scan the image. One last thing, make sure you name it. That's a, a good good plus. Um, if you want to just call it the inks, uh, whatever it is, so it's different from the actual file that you're going to be saving with the color, something to keep in mind. Okay, once this is done scanning, It'll show up however you scanned it, so just rotate images the image to what you need it to be. Um, since this is black and white and not grayscale, it is scanned as a bitmap, and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. If you go over to the right, you see it's as a background layer, okay? That's what it looks like, it looks great. And if we go up to next to layers, you see channels, you want to click that and it says bitmap, okay? If you go up to layers, we have to change the mode to grayscale, okay? Just hit OK. Once it's in grayscale, then it allows us to actually select the channel. So if you select the dotted circle on the bottom, it will actually select all the white for you. You double click the layer under layers, go back, double click it so it becomes a layer zero and not a background, and then you just hit delete. And what will happen is it will delete all the white, you see? So now all you're left with is your black line. Now this will only work if you scan it as a bitmap, which is the black and white, or the grayscale. The grayscale keeps sometimes the paper. If you have a toned paper, it's not going to work well. You're going to have to scan it as a black and white. All right, uh, but it allows the computer to differentiate the black and the white really well so that it can pick it up in the channels. Once you're done, you make a new layer underneath it, and that's the layer that you're going to color. And it's basically like a coloring book with the lines on top. Uh, keep in mind that you will have to change it to RGB, uh, otherwise everything's going to be gray because it's in grayscale, right? So once you've changed the image mode to uh, RGB or COMK, depending on what you need, then you can go ahead and color beneath the lines. Pretty easy, right?